by the expansion of a uh, course of four theta, same same uh, way, so solution. So we know this one will be expressed as cos of four theta plus uh, j sine of four theta will express as cos of theta plus j sine of theta. Now you write it to what power? To power, to power four. Again, letting our cos theta to be equals to c and our sine theta to be equal to s. So therefore, expanding the right hand side, so expanding the right hand side, we shall have c plus j s now to power what? To power four. And the procedure is just the same. So we we'll start with c to power four. So c to power four. Then plus, drop the power, then c to power 3, introduce what? Introduce j, introduce js. Then we have 4, drop the power again, 3, then we have c to power 2, then we shall have js, then this one will be squared, but now here we have about over 2, over 2 factorial. Then we come to the next term, plus 4, then you have 3, then you drop what? Drop 2, then you shall have js. No, sorry. We have our we have our c, then we shall have our js, then we shall have cubed, then all over 3 factorial. And the last term will be 4, 3, 2, 1. Then you have c will be to power 0 now, and anything to power 0 is 1. So js, then we have 2 power 4 all over. For, for factorial. So we can uh, simplify that further. So it equals to, so here we shall have c to power, c to power 4 plus, so we shall just have 4 c j s, so 4 c cubed j s. Now here we have 2 and we have 4, so you can cancel 2 by 4, which will give you 2. 2 times uh, 3 will give you 6, so plus 6 c squared, then j squared, then s squared, right? Because a power applies to everything inside the bracket. Then here we have 3 factorial. 3 factorial is the same as 3 times 2 times 1. And here we have a 3, we have a 2 and we have, uh, we have a 1 basically. So 3 times 2, which is 6. And this one is 6. So we can cancel, so we shall, shall remain with what? We shall remain with 4. So we shall remain with 4, then c then j cubed s cubed right then the last term will just be j to power 4 s to power s to power 4 simply because 4 factorial is the same as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which is just the same same number here at the end of the day so now collecting real and imaginary parts together so we shall have c to power 4 these are real these are imaginary imaginary no sorry before we even collect them, let us now first of all replace our j's with what we know with uh, the powers of j. So j here will just remain as j. So 4c cubed js, so that will remain. j squared gives you negative 1, so you shall have negative 6. c squared s squared. j cubed gives us negative j, so you shall have minus 4c. So the j becomes negative, uh, negative j, so we have j, then s, then we have cubed j to power 4 gives you 1, so we shall have plus s to power, plus s to power 4. So now taking the real and imaginary parts together, we shall have c to power 4, this is a real imaginary, another real here, 6c squared, s squared, imaginary, and we have another real here, so s to power 4, those are real parts. Then we come to imaginary parts, then plus, that is an imaginary, 4c cubed, uh, S without the J, okay, and minus 4C S cubed, then you put into bracket, then you put the J. But now our interest here is only the real part, so therefore uh, the cosine, the cosine of 4 theta will be given by this term here. So we interested, so the cos of 4 theta will be given by C to power 4 minus 6C squared S. Squared, sorry, s squared plus s to power s to power four. Now, so replacing our values here, so we shall have c to power four is in terms of our cosine, 
Uh, we have c squared is in terms of cosine. We can change our sine squared. So our sine squared will be given by. Now we can just relate them in terms of letters. We know sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. So we can just say it is 1 minus what is our cos? It is c, right? We can just put it as that. Okay, it is 1 minus cos squared. So we have that. So we shall just replace them first, then expand. Then s to power 4, what is s to power 4? This can be written as s squared times s squared. So it is 1 minus c squared multiplied by 1 minus c squared. Right? So it's just the same thing. s to power 4, because we have an s to power 4 here. Okay, we have an s to power 4. So it can be given as this times that. What is the expansion for this? Generally, it will be given by 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative c is negative c square, negative c times 1 is negative c square, negative c negative c plus c to power uh, c to power 4, which just gives us what? 1 minus 2c squared plus c to power c to power 4. So we can replace it here directly first using the letters, then we shall replace the actual uh, representation. So therefore, um, cos of 4 theta will be given therefore by c to power 4, that is the cosine, minus 6 uh, c, so c is still there, squared. Then our s squared will be represented by 1 minus c squared. Then plus our s to power 4 will be given by this. So plus 1 minus 2 c squared plus c to power 4. So which will be given by c to power 4 minus, so this times 1, 6c squared, negative, negative, becomes positive, 6c, now it will be to power, to power 4, this, so this will just be expanded, 1, um, minus 2c squared, plus c to power 4, so you can collect anything that uh, looks the same here, so the terms that have power 4, so we have this, 1, 6, uh, so 6, 7, 8, so we have 8, 8c to power 4. Uh, the one that has s squared, so minus 2, minus 6 minus 2 gives us minus 8c squared, then plus what? Plus, plus 1. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Therefore, now replacing our cosine uh, with, uh, where we have a c, so we shall just have 8 cos to power 4 theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 1. And this will be the expansion for the cosine of 4 of 4 theta. And that is it uh, for the function cos 4 theta. So this is just a, just a representation. When you're getting sine of anything theta, sine n theta or cos n theta, the process is just, is just the same. So thank you, and let us see now how we expand our functions of trigonometry that now are powered, the functions that are now powered.